This is the easiest way to break this down. Natural law and common law, and common law is actually meant to be a mirror of natural law, and natural law basically is two simple values, harm and loss. That's all it has to be, nothing else. It covers every eventuality. So you've got natural law, that is actually me. That applies to me. Acts of Parliament statutes, the statutes for instance which I've shown you, contracts only apply to the legal personality. But because that's just a piece of paper, they need me to represent it. Now, I've shown you that the United Kingdom is a corporation. I've shown you what the Acts of Parliament statutory instruments. I've shown you the corporate police and the corporate courts. And that's what they act upon. Exactly the same with the councils. That's the system. That's how simply it works. If you look at it and you actually go in your heart, which um, the lady spoke about earlier, the only basic principle that any nation really needs to adhere to are those of natural law, which are harm and loss. You don't cause anyone any harm or loss in your words or your actions. That's it, that's, that's how simple it is. As you have seen, the Acts of Parliament statutes only apply to the legal personality, the name, the birth certificate, a piece of paper. As you've also seen, they need a man or a woman to consent to represent the legal person because a piece of paper can't walk, can't talk, and it can't pick up a pen because it's stationary. But it is, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, it is, yeah. This thing can only do something when I do something with it. Look, I'll put it over here and I'll call it. Jump! <laughs> it needs our energy. It needs us to do something. And that's the clue. That's the clue of how to reverse all of this. It really is. Consent can be given in inaction or action. So basically, if, you, if, so, if I say to you, do you understand and you nod? That's inaction. If you sign something, that's action. It's that simple. So how did they create it? The legal person, the given name was created when my birth was registered. And evidenced by my birth certificate, a piece of paper. Man created government, which in turn created legal personalities. This is not me, it's a legal fiction I've been falsely identifying with, as most people have. I don't get to say what its rights and duties are. The United Kingdom Corporation does. They created it. But it had to mislead me into doing so via deception. This is the easiest way to put it and the way that people sort of kind of come to this. Obviously, you know, you know, I'm a man. I exist naturally and I was created by my mum and dad. Yeah. And I understand it was a pleasant act but I just don't want to know the details. <laughs> <laughs> Subject to common law jurisdiction. Must never harm or loss or cause another any form of loss. And I have a free and unlimited ability to do as I please, as long as I adhere to these two very, very basic principles. And that is where we're all going wrong. The legal person, John James Harris, is the given name which is wrote on my birth certificate. It's a fictional legal entity created by the government via the birth certificate and it's subject to civil policy jurisdiction. Must fulfil all duties given to the government by the company. Acts of Parliament, blah, 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 tax, and all the other crap. So we looked at person, and we found that it includes natural person, firm, co-partnership, association, I won't carry on. Well, Richie, one of the admin who sat at the top there, actually says, well, how can you define one word using exactly the same word? Because that's a mockery. You're failing to define anything. This is in Black's Law. This is the lawyer's Bible, and I know it's their Bible because I had a lawyer turn up at one of my talks with his Bible, trying to take me down with his Bible, and it didn't work. But, in context, that which follows controls, which precedes, which precedes. Bouvier's 1870, I've lost my piece of paper. Natural person, contextually, person follows and controls, and naturally is lawful, and therefore null and void. Now, in English, that means that this piece of paper cannot control me because I'm natural and this is just a piece of paper. So a natural person cannot possibly exist. But the lawyers all know this, this is what they use, this is what they're taught. And I actually spoke to a law student once and I said to her, why are there eight versions of Black's Law? Why are the words changing in eight different versions? Why don't they stay the same? Surely if a word's defined, then it won't change. If it's defined in a dictionary, why would it change? Oh, well, you know, society, but... <laughs> society. When I talked to this law student about it, she said, it's not for you to read. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are you hiding then? <laughs> There's a lot in there, you want to read it. 
Deception of the personality. I want to, I'm going to cover this very quickly, but most men and women believe, they do believe you are a person, you have a personality, you have it ran down your throats, there's no wonder you believe it. Everything's about person and personality. The personality is a social mask all men and women wear. This is simply the ego, which needs status and control. This is our world. We live in the world of the ego. We live in the world of status. And believe me, I'm battling my ego, and this does not help. That's why <laughs> it don't help. But this is why this deception works so well. Because it mirrors something that is naturally going on inside you. This is a battle you go for. If you're willing to take this battle up, if you're willing to take this battle up. Now, I'm not a religious person. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a religious man. I know there's something there. I just choose not to call it anything. That's it. And I don't want to know, to be quite honest with you. I just, but I do know there's something. I just don't know what it is. Someone told me the story. I looked at the story of Jesus. And I, I'm, I, I take what everybody says and I accept their views. So I just ask you to accept mine. I don't believe that Jesus died if he did exist. I believe he did something far greater. He sacrificed his ego. He sacrificed his personality. Because that's what this is really about. He actually sacrificed it because the only way you can truly live and the only way you can truly love is to get rid of that thing called the ego. We live in an egotistic world. Everybody, it, look, I've talked about President Obama on Red Ice, and i talked about this, and it's like, President Obama is a man. But because of his ego and his status, he believes he now has the right to go into a foreign country and kill people. This is the problem with the world we live in. It's about this word, status. It's about the ego. And I've realised it because I've got the biggest ego in the world. I'm an arsehole. I just don't talk shit. <laughs> it's true. This is absolutely true. It preys on our need for betterment and status. It, it's a need for control. This is what we, we want to control every situation. We, if, if our ego's not right, it goes into overdrive. I've seen it, the battle of the egos on the forums. It's incredible. Every time you have an argument, it's not a man and a woman or two men or two women arguing. It's the egos who are arguing. The best way to do it is shut your gob. Shut your gob and the ego can't take over. It might be screaming at me, you're right. <laughs> Argument over. It's not bad to be wrong. I'm quite often wrong. And I'm wrong. I've, I, as a man, I can make a decision any time I want to change my views. Because I can. And that doesn't make things bad. If I can't change my views and learn from my mistakes, how the hell can I evolve? This is a deception, this is, this is I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to go through this quite quick. But your parents basically submitted a form, they registered you, and it's exactly the same as when a company's registered. And if you look on your birth certificate, you actually says the birth certificate is not evidence of identity. So it's actually telling you, quite clearly states, it has nothing to do with a man or a woman. It tells you. It's written on it. Also, the fact it holds a crown copyright on it, so it's not even yours. <laughs> the same as money. Money's got a copyright on it. It's not yours, it's just a product for you to use. Deception of registration, this is absolutely true. Consider this. Could the government actually take my car away and crush it if I lawfully owned it? Could they do it? Why can't they? No. You, you, if I legally own my car, if I lawfully own it, then they can't take it from me because it's a crime. Okay? Theft is a crime. It doesn't matter who's stealing, it's a crime. But by using, one second, by using the process of registering my car, they duped me into handing over legal ownership. So now a company owns my car. But that's a very unique situation because if a company owns my car, hold on a minute, I've got this V5 document that says I'm the registered keeper. Hold on a minute, I'm the owner. No, you're not, you're the registered keeper. Okay, so if I'm not the owner, that means who I registered to is the owner, which is a company. So, oh, that's, that's very interesting. So, 
This, this works with your children exactly the same way. Exactly the same. And they are. See? The car is legally owned by a company, Department of Transport, Traders DVLA. All I'm going to say to you is, if you get a parking ticket that says it applies to the owner, send it to the fucking owner. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have so much fun. You really are.